hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and i thought i'd share with you guys an absolute guide into getting into medical school in australia so let's get into it so i know how hard the application process can be it's scary it's daunting there's so much information around and you don't know where to start and there's the there are education consultants there's agencies what do you do how do you approach so I'm here as a former applicant and an incoming medical student. I will share with you the everything you need to know about the application process. So there are two routes uh, for getting into medical school in Australia. The first is the direct entry. That's the one you go straight out of high school. The course is five or six years in length. And the second one is the graduate entry. So you go into it after a undergraduate degree and that course is usually four years so based on your requirements you should first start looking into which kind of route are you going for do your research look at the years look at the course structure or you could maybe even apply to both uh keep a uh, undergraduate degree as a backup in case the direct entry does doesn't fall through because direct entry uh medical schools are very competitive to get in so once you decide that you need to start researching your universities. Uh, look at the rankings, uh, look at the course structure, uh, look at location if that matters to you and see which aspects of the courses stand out to you. And the good thing about applying as an international student in Australia, unlike UK, there is no limit to the number of universities you can apply to since it's not done through a common platform for international students. So based on your short list of which universities you want to apply to, you will decide whether you want to take the UCAT, ANZ or the ISAT or if you want to take both. Personally, I only took the ISAT, but if you want, you can take both. So ISAT is an admissions test taken by international students for entry into a few medical schools. So the ones that accept ISAT is Monash University, UNSW, Western Sydney University, University of Tasmania, uh, and um, of Western Australia. So, and a few other universities uh, outside of Australia. We won't be focusing on that today. So, I said in a brief kind of summary, it can, it's a test that has around 100 questions. You have three hours to answer them. Uh, there are only two sections that is the critical reasoning and uh, quantitative reasoning and the test compared to the ucat in my experience is the timing is better but it, the questions are way more complex than the ucat and it requires a lot of thinking so you need to have your good prep done before you go for it i'll be since i got a request for an isat prep video i'll be definitely putting up one soon so please check out for that video uh the other uh admissions test is the ucat anz so the ucat anz uh the basic structure there's been major changes for the next year so originally there was verbal reasoning uh decision making abstract reasoning quantitative reasoning and then your situational judgment section but now the abstract reasoning section has been completely scrapped so you have one less thing to worry about am i right so you have your verbal reasoning your dm uh then you go directly into quantitative reasoning and situational judgment and you in you can and z uh uh the situational judgment score is given as a band score uh that's from 300 to 900 instead of a band so that's one difference so you should do your prep prepare for the exam give the best these admission tests make or break your application so it's really important for you to meet those thresholds and look at the universities what are their requirements of the admissions test is there a certain threshold you need to meet uh, after that uh, you should be looking into your uh, whether look at your your 12 marks do they meet the requirements that the universities you want to apply to and the next thing you should be thinking about is IELTS so for most international students IELTS is comp compulsory and there's a certain mark of band you're required to reach to getting in uh, to getting accepted in that university so you should make sure you meet those requirements too 
uh, another important thing is you may need an education agent to apply you might not be able to apply directly uh so for me i was i was the university for me western sydney uh, i couldn't apply directly so i just decided to apply to all the universities through an education agent but don't worry education agents are most of the time free so it's there's no additional fees you need to give them so then next thing you should do is uh compile your required documents that's your year 12 marks your admission test results passport copy ielts and just compile it all together keep it in one file and then finally you can submit your application make sure you check every single detail on there you can either di apply directly or if you're going through an agent one important advice for all of you stay calm during this time do not get overly stressed about it do not fret like crazy about it from one person who's gone through it it's really important to stay calm and one lesson is what is meant for you will come your way and there's a thing called destiny in life and so most of the time before you get an offer into medical school you will need to be invited for a medical interview so there'll be a sort of a waiting period about whether you met those requirements to getting into the uh, medical school uh, so if you meet the requirements, you get the interview, give your interview well, g do your best there. If you guys are interested, I will also put up an MMI or a panel interview uh, prep video. If you interview well, if you excel in your interview, you will be one of the few people who receive an offer. And the feeling is on top of the world. So my tip for all of you is stay focused. It's a long draining procedure. It'll affect you mentally, physically, but it's really important to stay positive. Do not always focus on just this. Spend time, spend time with friends, family. I hope I've been able to give you a guide into getting a medical school, a basic overview. Uh, watch out, uh, check out my new video that'll be coming up soon on ISAT Prep. If you guys enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye.